What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. It looks like we might actually finally be getting Pokemon Home in the near future, which I know I've made a couple of videos on this subject already, so it feels like I'm beating a dead horse, but we do have yet another leak from a rather trustworthy source. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So a couple of days ago on May 9th, Central Leaks, which is yet another well-known and rather trustworthy source for upcoming Pokemon information, tweeted out this update that says, Home Update Info. The update is ready and will be releasing very soon, which I feel like if Central Leaks is saying this and it's not Riddler Koo, which Riddler Koo is a good source for upcoming information, but he's a lot more vague about it. And I feel like when Central Leaks tweets out things like this, they have more like concrete evidence of it and they're not trying to be so like mysterious about it. So if they're saying that it's gonna release soon, I feel a little more comfy about believing this one. They also go on to say that for the first time ever, you will be able to transfer Pokemon caught in Scarlet and Violet to previous generation games. Now I'm assuming that this means Pokemon that exist in that game. So I don't think you would be able to transfer like a Fue Coco to Pokemon Sword and Shield just because they don't exist in that world. However, I could be wrong, but that's just what I'm thinking like from a logical standpoint. They also said, however, the move reset will still be a thing. So any Pokemon transfer to Scarlet and Violet will get its moves reset. So if you are trying to bring Pokemon from any past games into Scarlet and Violet, when we do get this connectivity, you will have to reteach them the moves that hopefully are still available in Scarlet and Violet because there is specific moves that are no longer available. And him, Scald? Why did they take Scald away from us? I'm still salty about that. I'm gonna keep complaining about that until they bring it back. Or not bring it back, but you know what I mean. Until they let water types have that move again. Let me put it on my very annoying Vaporeon, okay? That's all I ask. They did have a couple of follow-up tweets as well, like this one here that says, mystery gift for linking Scarlet and Violet, Fue Coco, Sprigatito, and Quaxly. So I'm assuming that you're probably going to get to pick which of the three starters that you want, probably one that you didn't pick when you started the game, and they'll probably have their hidden abilities or something. So this will be like an easy way for you to get the other starters that you were not able to get in your original game. They also said Iron Leaves and Walking Wake won't have Pokedex entries, all they will say is that they are still under investigation. Interesting. I wonder why they're doing that. Probably because they're going to have something to do with the DLC and obviously the DLC is not going to come out until like the end of the year. So maybe it'll tie in with the storyline that we're going to get for that. But that's kind of interesting. Still under investigation. They also said with Pokedex entries, we meant the flavor text. And then they said, yes, thanks for reminding us that this also happened way back in Gen 2. And for the transfer to previous gens, obviously we meant that as long as the Pokemon exists, this in the destination game, Let's Go is excluded from this feature. Oh, okay, so I was right. So yeah, so it has to be a Pokemon that exists in like that specific game's like world. So you won't be able to bring like the new Pokemon back into the older games, but you can bring like Pokemon that you've already caught that exist in those games to those games, which he then does answer this person's question since they literally just asked the exact same question, which they asked, so you'll be able to transfer Foy Coco to Sword and Shield. And they said, no, it doesn't exist in Sword and Shield. So I'm sorry, you cannot bring your brand new Gen 9 Pokemon back in time into Jenny. Someone also asked if there's going to be an additional gift for anyone that's completed their Pokedex or if it's gonna stay as the Magearna. And they said that there is no new gift. Someone else asked if it's possible to send Paradox Pokemon to Sinnoh and they said no. And then somebody else asked a pretty good question actually. They said, do all the Pokemon's moves get reset or just the ones they can't learn in Scarlet and Violet? And they did say all of the moves are getting reset. So no matter what, you're basically going to start with a blank slate when it comes to move sets. And this person kind of just clarified to make sure that we're all kind of on the same page here and they said assuming that for the first time ever you will be able to transfer pokemon caught in scarlet and violet to previous generation games is for pokemon that weren't introduced to scarlet and violet so you might be able to move over say raichu but not pama and they said correct so it looks like that is a confirmed fact that when we do get this connectivity soon you will be able to move already existing pokemon in that world from scarlet and violet back in time but you will not be able to add in new pokemon i really wanted to drive that point home because i feel like that's going to be a question that a lot of people are asking just because they did word it kind of funny. And I know that this video is supposed to be focused on Pokemon Home, but Central Release did also tweet out five hours ago about a new leak, so I thought I would throw it in for you guys as well as a little bonus. So for this new leak, it says Leaker K, which I assume is Riddler Koo, has talked about 
about the Moo Tailor, which seems to be a feature of the DLC that will allow somehow to customize Pokemon moves, for example, teach again old event moves, though Pokemon customized with this won't be eligible for ranked battles. So it looks like there's going to be a new feature in the DLC that will allow you to learn like legacy moves that you could only get during specific events. But if you do teach the Pokemon those moves, they will not be able to be used in online features. Which I mean, that's fair since obviously not everybody's gonna have access to that. I like how they added this little bit too, even though I literally said this earlier and they said, as usual from this leaker, information is vague and may be misinterpreted. We will learn more as time goes on, which is why I said that I feel like when Centro Leaks tweets out things, they have more like concrete evidence about it. But when it comes to like Riddler Koo, he's more like mysterious and tries to make it like a whole big thing, which I don't mind either of them. Obviously a leak is a leak. We don't know if it's gonna be true until the actual information comes out, but it's always fun to see what information is coming out and maybe possibly get a little sneak peek as to what we're getting in the near future. He does also hint that it will be for version 3.0, which is the Indigo Disc, which is the second DLC since we have the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. So this little move tailor tutor thing that they're talking about is not gonna be available until we get part two of the DLC. But there you have it. That is the latest update that we have on Pokemon Home connectivity. So hopefully they are right and we are getting it sometime soon, maybe in the next few weeks. And of course, our little bonus leak of getting a move tutor that will be able to teach legacy moves. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video entertaining. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.